Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine, bringing to you the weekly podcast on the Common Sense MD. And I want to take it a little bit lighter today. We're headed into the holiday seasons. And, you know, I started thinking about gift ideas for this year. And I'm not talking about our Black Friday sales, which you should take advantage of on Black Friday. Uh, once a year we do that. But what I'm talking about is buying a gift of health for your loved ones and maybe yourself. You know, you should love yourself as well. And so I'm going to talk today about monitoring your health with the wearable monitors like Apple watches or this aura ring that I wear that I've worn for several, several years. Um, these electronic devices are amazing and the technology that has progressed and continues to progress is just amazing. As you know, I'm on my second aura ring and that's my favorite one, but it's estimated that Worldwide, we spend about, people spend about $46 billion um, every year. And by the year 2027, it's going to be over $100 billion. Uh, so that's a lot of money. These things are very helpful for patients and for doctors. Um, it helps with early diagnosis, uh, remote patient care. You know, we're doing a lot of telemedicine these days since COVID. Um it monitors and stores your data. Um, and it's not just heart rate. You know, it used to be, I used to wear this heart rate monitor when I would uh, race road bikes. And it would tell me, you know, how fast my heart rate went during the workout. I could actually look at it on my bike and see what my heart rate was and how long it took to come back down for recovery, which is very important. Um, but, you know, that was like the caveman days because nowadays you can monitor about anything and the future is just going to be incredible with these things. Uh, you know, I've worked for years with raising two diabetic kids, um, you know, glucose monitoring, the continuous glucose monitoring, which is just phenomenal technology. Um, you know, I've done one myself just to see what different things uh, that I ate or drank, what effect they would have on my blood sugars. And it was really incredible. I used the Freestyle Libre, and that was just told me a lot about um, what I should be eating and drinking and what I should stay away from because it's different for everybody. Um, but I can't tell you the amount of people that have come to my office when they have bought an Apple Watch. And they've told me, this thing says I'm in AFib or I've been in AFib. So I listen to the heart and sure enough, it's obvious they're in AFib, which is a dangerous rhythm. You need to take action. It could actually save your life. Um, so that they're getting really accurate. Um, and I think the new one tells you how often you're in AFib, what time of day it is, etc. But very helpful for patients and doctors. Um, but these things nowadays, my aura ring is just incredible. You know, it, it measures my oxygen saturation uh, at night. Um, it can help dete detect sleep apnea through this. You know, when you stop breathing, checks body temperature at night, heart rate variability, which is a really a measure of um, how fit your heart is. So it's not just resting heart rate and how fast it, you can get it up to, but it's that tiny beat to beat difference, uh, that makes a difference in how, how really fit you are heart wise. Um, you know, the stages of your sleep. That's the main reason I have this aura ring is to check the stages of sleep. I am to see what kind of sleep I'm getting, whether different things that I try for my sleep, like melatonin and different things help my sleep at night. Um, you know, how much, how long it took me to get to sleep. It's called sleep latency. What time I went to bed, what time I woke up, um, it, how much REM sleep I got. And when I was in REM sleep, rapid eye movement, dream sleep, which is a, a deep sl sleep stage. Stage four, which is the deepest, how much I got of that, how much light sleep I had how much I move during the night. 
Um, like I say, the thing with the body temperature is incredible because um, I remember uh, last Thanksgiving when I experienced COVID, the day before I had any symptoms, I looked in the morning and my temperature uh, had gone up a degree and a half during the night. And so I knew something was going to hit me. Sure enough, it was COVID. Um, but uh, so it's really good for that. Um, it's good for women to track their ovulation. It's good for menopausal women to track hot flashes. Um, you know, it's got a period tracker on it. Um, you know, it sinks in with your smartphone. Um, it tracks my workouts. It even might even tracks where I went on my bike. Um, how far you walked or you ran or you biked, um, your location, even if you've been in an accident and fallen, they will call for you. So these things have incredible, uh, beneficial uses. So it's going to be a great gift for somebody. Um, like I say, it can alert people to help you in certain situations. Um, so they can save your life potentially. Um, the other thing that they do is they tell you if you need to take it easy uh, that day or if you need to go hard at your workout. You know, that recovery phase of your workouts in your life are as important really as the workout phases. So really very important. Um, they monitor respiration, breathing patterns, um, I think my average heart rate in, at night is something is like 49 or 50. It's pretty low. And I breathe at 13 to 14 times a minute. So if that goes up, you know, maybe something's going on. Maybe I'm not recovering well. Um, these things work by using LED sensors and actuators that really penetrate the skin and capture the flow of blood. That's how they work and many other methods that I'm not a biomedical engineer, so I can't tell you exactly how they work, but I know they're, they're accurate. I think they even use artificial intelligence to, to help out with that. Um, and there's trials undergoing right now throughout the world uh, to detect nervous system diseases, cardiovascular diseases, infectious diseases, uh, nutritional and metabolic diseases, which we deal with every day in our office, like high blood pressure. You know, I can't wait till one comes. There, there's a few wearable 24-hour blood pressure monitors. They're just not quite where I want them yet. But I think that's going to be incredibly useful when these things can monitor your blood pressure without having to wear a large cuff because high blood pressure is a silent killer. It, it's really important. Um, respiratory diseases will be detected, maybe even cancer. And like I talked about, women's health things, uh, hematologic diseases, and of course the blood pressure monitors are already here. You know, someday they'll be able to detect to read your blood sugar through your sweat, not having to have an indwelling catheter in there. Um, you know, the most common ones, of course, the Apple Watch, that's the biggest seller. Uh, Garmin makes several, Fitbit makes several, and Samsung also has come out with a new one recently. You know, I wear the Aura Ring. I love this Aura Ring. This is the, the next gen, so this, I'm on my second one. I like it because I always have the ring on, and uh, it's really unencumbersome. So I really like the aura ring. I think it's really accurate. Um, I use it many times a day, especially in the morning when I wake up to tell me what kind of day I can kind of predict health wise, see how well I slept. If I should focus on, you know, semi my hard workout or more just a recovery phase. Um, but I think it's really accurate and it tells me when to ease off a little bit. Um, you know, if I'm, I think I'm about to get sick through the body temperature monitoring. It tracks my workouts. But the main thing I use it for is my sleep. I think sleep, especially as you, you age, you need to really pay in much attention to how you sleep because you need to be sleeping to recovering, to recover. Um, the future is going to be incredible with all these monitoring devices. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I can guarantee you that. Um, do they emit EMFs that some people worry about? Yeah, but you have to weigh, like anything, the risk versus the benefits. And I think the benefits of these things are just phenomenal. And what we're going to see in the future 
is just going to be incredible. So, you know, I hope you'll think about getting one of these devices for yourself or a loved one and start thinking about your health. Really, you know, they're good because they kind of force you to think about these things a little bit, like what your heart rate does, what your heart rate variability, how fast you're breathing. And I know Zach loves these things to work with people on the breathing exercises. Um, they can tell you if you need to calm down how stressed out you are. You know, stress plays such a major factor in our health. You know, you can't be a family doc for this many years and not realize that anxiety and stress play a major, major role in almost every disease. Um, so the future is going to be bright. It's the holiday seasons. Um, so think about these, these monitors, these health wearable monitors. And I hope you'll look at it with a new year and uh, start thinking about getting healthy and also for your loved ones. Thank you. This is Dr. Tom, and Rod Tom Rogers, the Common Sense MD at Performance Medicine. I'll see you next week.